Michael Judon, who's always, you know, in the, in the, in the chat says, does Lyle Collins get cut before week one? No. I mean, I, I think I can answer that question. No, that's not happening. And it's beneficial to them to let him go down to the pup list. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you, we talked about this contract before, mm -hmm. right? So if he goes on that pup list for six to 10 weeks and he only plays, let's say seven mm -hmm. games he's active for next year, that reduces his cap. Right. His cash is still different, but the, the, it helps prolong his career, not only from an injury standpoint, but it could keep him on the roster for another year. Yeah. His cap hits were low because he didn't play a lot this year. All right. Now, Evan, I, you, we haven't done it in quite some time. Oh, gosh. But you usually have your spiel. Please tell the people why you would want to keep a Lyle Collins on the roster and what the benefit of that is. Well, I mean, obviously, Joe kind of mentioned it there where when you've got money tied up in active roster, roster bonuses, right. um, games where he's not healthy, where he's on the pup, like Joe said, if you're waiting until week 8, 10 when he's healthy, you're already saving money there. So I know people are like, oh, you can save $7 million or something if you cut him before the season right now. And that's all well and good, but – You've got one of the best backup tackle guard options right there for, let's say he misses the first eight weeks. What is that? Maybe you pay him a million and a half less and end up paying him $5 million, right? Um, so I, I just, and those are all just ballpark numbers that I'm throwing out. But again, even if you're telling me you're paying a backup offensive lineman, one of the better options at guard and tackle when he's fully healthy for $5 million, I mean, God bless. Wouldn't you have died for that? Last yep. season yep. or the season before, if someone looked at you and said $5 million, you can get the best backup, one of the best backup tackle guard uh, players in uh, in the league for $5 million. There would have been a GoFundMe. The, the money would have been raised <laughs> in an hour. Like Bengals fans are out here trying to donate calves after a minor calf strain. So like I, it, it drives me batty sometimes how we clamor for quality offensive linemen, but then we also clamor to cut some mm -hmm. when it's like, what are you going to go out there and get right yeah. now on the open market that you would feel more confident filling in than Lyle Collins? And the answer is nothing. All right. A whole lot of nothing. There's not many people that can say they have a backup tackle option as good as Lyle Collins when healthy. So that's just kind of what sticks with me. We, we know how they've gotten cluster injuries on offensive line and having guys with versatility, like mm -hmm. Joe said, is a big benefit, um, especially if you have to make – tough decisions on how many wide receivers and corners you're going to cut because you're so deep at defensive end, like Joe said, and D line. And now you're deep at O line too. And now you got to start making some tough decisions on, Hey, is the project done with Deontay Smith and Hakeem Adenogy? But mm -hmm. I don't look at Lyle Collins as a veteran solid backup and say, that's the guy who needs to go. That's right. just, I, I think that's silly in my opinion.